Videos like these are popping up on my timeline, your timeline, and getting thousands and millions of views. But how are they being made and what tool is it? Posting on social media got me here. Now the AI tool is called VO3. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make those viral videos that's going all over the place, just like this one. So you can post it on social media. And then also I made a intro to my YouTube stream and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that step-by-step -step as well. Now timestamps are going to be below but let's get into how to make these viral AI videos that's going crazy on social media. So first, let's set up the scene. So first, I found a reference picture to create a character for this video, and I put it into ChatGPT, pretty much asking it to, hey, I uploaded the picture, can you make a prompt for VO3, right? And so it made the VO3 prompt, and I added the dialogue as well, saying posting on social media got me here, I'm gonna show you how. So now, let's get into VO3. So to get to VO3, the easiest way to do that is go into Google and just put VO3. It's going to be the very first one that you pick. Now we're not going to use Gemini because Gemini is very limited, gives you only five a day. We're gonna actually use Flow. Flow allows us to be a little bit more flexible. We're gonna hit create with Flow. And then also what we're going to be doing is going back inside of ChatGPT, getting that prompt. Once we hit new project, and pasting that prompt inside of it. What we're also going to make sure is that VO3 is there. And then you could put uh, as many outputs that you want. I always pick two because I just like options. So this is what it came up with. Posting on social media got me here and I'm gonna show you how. Now to add the next scene, we're gonna hit jump to. If you put extend, it'll actually make it go into VO3 with no sound and that's not what we wanna do. So we wanna hit jump to and we're going to add another prompt. Now for the second scene, we need another prompt. I'm gonna go back into ChatGPT, give it my reference and tell it to make a VO3 prompt that keeps the same character that we had in the first one, which was the female. And then just to add the male with his dialogue saying like, yo, you're lying, you know, I paid for this. So we're gonna copy from where it says scene transition and introduces the male. And we're going to put that into VO3. So we're gonna paste that into there and then we're gonna press enter. Okay, we have our second scene. Let's see how this looks. Can you shut up? You know you lying about that. I paid for this trip. Then we're going to keep building off of that and continue to story tell. But one to 10, what do we think about that video? Quick recap on how to do it is we go into ChatGPT with our reference picture to get the prompt that we need and add dialogue, add it into flow with a new project, and then go and hit jump to to create different scenes. Don't pick the extend to, pick the jump to so we can continue to use VO3 so you can get the best quality as well as the dialogue. Now, let's say you wanna make an intro to your YouTube videos, your live streams, or maybe presentations. I'm gonna show you exactly what I did actually on my live to do just that. It was the first time I was using VO3 to do this. So let's get into it. Here's what I did. Let me go all the way up. So this was the original picture, right? And I told it, to give me a prompt and it gave me a prompt of it as well as made it into a boondock style. So then I took a picture of my background, okay? So what you see of here, right? I took a, a, a quick picture on my, on my phone, nothing crazy, nothing crazy, and I gave it two views. And so it created this, which I thought was fire, right? I thought was fire. So cool. It gave me the image that I need, right? So what you're going to do is hit new project. Now with flow, you're able to upload a image. Now on flow, I like it better on flow because you can extend it. So what you want to do, not text to video because you can't upload it, but you're going to go frames to video and you're going to upload your, your picture right here. Now I already have it. So I'm just going to click on that. 
and I'm going to do the same thing. And animated scene. So we're going to hit that. Boom. Flow gave me two options. And this is why I also like flow. Flow gives me two options. So let's see what it did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to share this beautiful sunset with you all tonight. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Let's say if I wanted to add to this scene. Now, I can go add to scene. And it's giving me uh, two options. I can jump to another scene or I can extend this one. So what we're going to do is hit extend, right? So this is going to make this be longer than an eight second video, right? This is where the storytelling comes in. So peep game. So now we have a 14 second video, we have a 14 second video. So it goes like this. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to share this beautiful sunset with you all tonight. Okay, grab your phone and now walk with the phone. So let's try to extend it again. Uh, as she grabs the phone, have her walk around the ship. So boom, let's see if it actually walks now. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to share this beautiful sunset with you all tonight. Oh, wow, it just, just got up. Hey, It just got up. That was so random. <laughs> it was like, a, it was just so random. Grabs the phone, still talking to the live. This one didn't even get up. So at least the other one got up. The other one got up and walked. <laughs> it's so random. Okay, anyways. All right. So we got it to kind of walk, right? This is just a real quick demo. So now we're going to jump to, let's go into the room and... This happens, and then the scene jumps to uh, the main character getting ready to live stream. And she says, oh, wait, this one can't speak. This one can't speak. So um, I wonder if it can. No, it can't speak. Getting ready to live stream, uh, and she adjusting. So now it's going to create a whole separate scene. It's not going to, it's going to go from... The me with the sunset streaming on the phone to going now to my crib streaming on this. And all I'm doing is giving it a kind of a story to build off of. Okay. Well, that was quick. So here's the full, here's the full video. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to share this beautiful sunset with you all tonight. I have my phone I'm talking to it randomly gets up. Now I'm back at the at the computer. Did I random? Hey everyone. Hold on. Did it randomly make a camera on the screen? Let's try this. Let's try this scene. Oh, that was fire. Wait, wait. I already saw some. That was fire. Oh, that's fire. That's wait, 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 wait. That's fire. Okay. I don't even so what's cool about this? I may not even want this part because this looks random. Right, so I can shorten it right here. So now it goes from here. Oh, nah, that's hard. Nah, that's hard. That's that's hard. Okay, I like that. So let's keep extending it. Let's do um, I'll have the main character turn. All right, I still think this is fire. If it doesn't get it all the way right. I'm okay. It's talking, but then do the stretching. Why is it? That was the stretch. That was the stretch. Oh, wait, what's happening? I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. One to 10. What do you think about it? One to 10. What do you think about that? Literally what we did was say, yo, set a, set it up as if we're going live on YouTube, right? And have before I go live, Act like I'm stretching. I'm not mad at this. Let's see how it, let's see how it sounds and looks.
Nah, with the chat on it, it's fire. With the chat on it, it's fire. So one to 10, what do you think about the live intro? Should I continue to use it for my streams? That I need to know. Slight plug, we do it every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Now let's talk about price. To use VO3 and flow with VO3, you're going to have to get Google AI Ultra, which is the biggest package that you can get for Google, the biggest plan. And so that is going to be $124.99 for the first three months. And then it's going to go into $250 a month. It is expensive, but you are going to be able to create videos like this on a more consistent basis compared to maybe if you use Canva using VO over there because you're only able to do five a month where this one runs with credits or if you go with Gemini, it does five a day. The world is evolving and we have to learn how to use these tools to better our storytelling, better our creativity. It's not here to replace us, but it is here to elevate our thoughts and our ideas into ways that we never thought could happen. And so I'm gonna give you all the links to go to VO3 and flow in the description. And plus, if you need a longer video of how to use VO3 uh, and different use cases, I have a video right here for you.